What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you what I think is the best feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio. Now it is safe to say that masking is every video editor's nightmare. There is a new incredible AI tool which is called Magic Mask and you can find that within the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. Now I got a few sample clips from my recent travels loaded up to demonstrate how powerful it is. All you gotta do is go to the color tab and then you find the magic mask symbol right here. Before you get started, make sure that you toggle the mask overlay because otherwise you won't be able to see what you're doing. Now what you wanna do is draw a loose stroke around a subject that you want to have masked out. So let's select uh, my body here and draw a stroke from up to down, boom. And within a few seconds, Resolve will detect the edges of the subject and then just mask it out magically. Next up, let's track this mask forward. And that is extremely simple as well. All you gotta do is just click on that little play icon and then Resolve will work its magic and apply the mask to all of the frames until the very end of the clip. So let's replay the example and you can see that the masking looks quite accurate considering this took me only literally like a few moments and it was super super easy. So let's make it a little bit more difficult and choose a more challenging example clip with a background that is more busy. Alright, so let's load up the clip from my recent travels and as you can see the subject wears almost the same colored shirt like this temple structure right behind him and he also stands like quite close to it. So let's try out the magic mask again. So I simply apply a stroke, drag and drop that and boom. Considering that isn't the ideal shot, I think it still worked quite well and it took only a few seconds, wow. Now, if you want the edges to be a little bit more accurate, you can switch up the quality setting from faster to better on the bottom right, right here. Now, I recommend to keep the stroke relatively short and don't draw anything too complicated. From my experience, a simple, very short stroke works best and will make tracking a lot easier later on. Now, you could apply a color grade only to that particular section that you have just masked out and you can also invert the mask with this little icon right here and do the opposite and you could only make changes to the background, for example. I typically like to change the color grade of the main subject or apply like additional blur to the background, for example, and I think it's a really amazing tool that is super, super simple. Let's check out this little portrait video that I shot of a model to show you another really, really cool function right here. What we did before was masking out using the object mode, but you can also switch it to the person mode with that little button right here, which will then allow you to select individual parts of a person. So first you have to define the overall shape of the person. So I'm simply drawing the stroke from top of the hairline all the way to the clothes. Boom, full body selected. Now we can further drill down and select specific features like her hair, skin, clothes and so on. So all I gotta do is select the face for example and then draw a stroke only on the girl's face. Or if I want to select the hair, I just have to draw a horizontal stroke Boom, you see it's not fully selected, so I switch the mode from faster to better, and once again, it does a phenomenal job. Now I could manipulate and color grade all of these features individually, which is super, super cool. There are a bunch of manual settings that you can modify right here on the bottom, but I tend to leave those unchanged. Please leave a like so this video doesn't get lost in the YouTube algorithm. And if this is the first time you see me, I am Eric and you should totally consider subscribing for more amazing content like this. And I will see you guys on the next video.